Get in bed. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, good. Yes. Yes. Of course. Oh, through Shakespeare's eyes. Yes. Where is my video? Oh, no. Oh, through Christ. What's going on out here? Hey, you look nice. You going out? Don't you have your Skype chat with Dan in like 10 minutes? He had some work dinner or something and had to cancel. Stop! What are you doing? Um, Bad news? No. It's great news. Mrs. Howell is having her gallbladder removed. I can see how you could be confused and conflicted about that. The school is offering me her English classes. There's the silver lining. No, that's bad too. No, it's great. Someone needs to adjust her birth control. This could lead to the permanent teaching job I've been chasing, but they're doing a Shakespeare unit. I know Shakespeare, don't get me wrong, but I've never had to make it interesting to 14 year olds. I'm freaking out. I'm looking for advice, inspiration, knowledge, insight. The answer must be one of these damn books. <gasps> Wait, you're a theater person. How do I teach this? I'm a musical theater person. What's the difference? My Shakespeare knowledge begins and ends with West Side Story, and I'm pretty sure that the original had hardly any Puerto Ricans. None, in fact. And I'm learning. Take a deep breath. You got this. But all of my experience so far is with elementary kids. Those kids are young enough to be molded in shape, so they're easily manipulated. Teenagers are monsters ready to pick off the sick and the weak. What if I distracted them by showing them which plays have Elizabethan dick jokes in them? This. And if you really can't teach teenagers, let's just let Professor DiCaprio do all the work. Pop in Romeo and Juliet. It has all of the Shakespeare with none of the 1950s racism. It's win-win! Yes, dear, but I don't want to be the kind of teacher that just throws in a DVD. Come on. No one can resist a vintage Leo. I never really got in the Leo boat. I don't know. <laughs> Basketball diaries. This boy's life? What's eating Gilbert Grape? Catch me if you can. Titanic? Never saw it. I would never lie about a thing like that. We're here for you.
So, basketball diaries. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're the best. <laughs> Never let go.